Hey guys, so this is Ben from Project Spartan. Um, now the next video that I'm making is a little bit more specific with the nutrition side of things. Now, as I've explained before, there's probably like three stages to nutrition, one, two, and three. And one really is just getting started off, um, cutting back on the processed food, um, cutting a little bit back on the um, ch changing habits really and getting into a bit of a process as I spoke about in the other videos um, about just getting used to shopping, understanding where you're getting your pr protein, your carbs and your fats from, um, understanding a little bit about hormones and the effect that food has on um, your hormones um, and shopping for the real uh, necessities in your shopping basket week to week and having that kind of structure in place. Um, as we go on to that, that next stage, then we're looking at kind of portion sizes. We're looking at somatotypes and the different somatotypes, speed of metabolism, and um, what you should um, be eating in terms of those portion sizes. So once we've got onto kind of one, two, and three, this is starting to get a little bit more specific and give you some tools that you could use to put in place to start um, being calculating your macronutrients um, individually depending on your goals so obviously within the Spartan camp we have um, guys who've got slightly faster metabolisms um, and want to put on a little bit more size so their carb intake is going to be a little bit higher and their calorific intake is going to be higher and um, some people that are looking to cut more and um, needs to be slightly lower so taking into consideration all of that, obviously I want to keep the process as simple as possible for you. So we're going to be using this um, Spartan macro calculator as a starting point to give you a very simple tool which you can use um, to start to figure out your macros week to week. Um, now, as I said, before all of this really comes um, thinking about like your habits and your shopping and um, uh, trying to cut back on the alcohol intake obviously if you're smoking at all you know all those things are going to make a huge difference and then on top of that you have the hormonal effects of stress sleeping recovery deficiencies in the body you could have individually intolerances to certain foods but you could have individually but this is to give you a little bit more of a rundown of the macros and to, to use a couple of tools online tools which will keep us accountable and start to push your results up to that next level. Um, so this is the Spartan Macro Calculator and this is basically how it's gonna work. So if you see top left, you've got what is your goal. Now some people just wanna maintain their same size, some people wanna put on a little bit more muscle and some people are looking to cut. So let's go for the cut option to begin with. So pop the cut in there, then you're gonna put age, weight in kilograms, height in centimetres and body fat percentage. So I'll just go for me at the moment. So I'm 36, probably weigh about 80 to 80, I'd probably say about 83 kilograms, height 180. I think I figured that out before and about, um, what is that, 5'11". Um, we'll leave that for now anyway, just to keep it simple. Body fat percentage, probably around about 12-ish be doing that but say it's 12 and then activity level um, so it's giving you different examples sedentary obviously if you're sitting down a lot we work very light activity light activity moderate activity high extreme activity so um, I'm gonna go with I mean obviously I train a lot but with my job um, if not training people then I'm probably sit down quite a lot so I'm gonna go for moderate activity to begin with um, now on the right hand side putting those calculations in, it's starting to give me a bit more of a specific macro breakdown. So it's giving me a calorie requirement of about 2,619 calories a day, and that's on a Harris-Benedict formula. Um, now, minimum protein requirements is 155, minimum fat requirements 79, minimal carbohydrates required 300, 321. Um, recommended protein, uh, personal preference, so they're the same. Recommended fat required 79, recommended carbohydrate intake 243. Um, now again, there is the, uh, the consideration of somatotype, which this doesn't take into consideration if I'm perfectly honest. So it's something to bear in mind on top of that. 
but it will give you an idea of where you're at very simply with your foods as they're broken down into your protein, your fats and your carbohydrates. Um, if you're still not really sure where any of these are, your proteins, your fats and your carbohydrates, on a very, very basic level, your proteins are obviously your meat and your fish, but you also, for vegans and vegetarians, are going to get protein from um, peas, uh, from beans, from lentils. Um, obviously, you get protein still within certain carbohydrates as well. Um, your fats will have carbs, um, not to confuse things, but your fats are going to be like your nut butters, your avocados, um, your coconut oil, things like that. And then I will make a separate video on the carbohydrates because I know sometimes people can get confused on them. What's a low carb diet? You know, which carbs to have, when, when to have them, etc. Um, but for the for the time being, um, let's say you know carbs can be vegetables if you're going on a lower carb diet. Things like sweet potato, um, and then. If you're going to go uh, have other carbs, then you know you've got your um, slightly starchier carbs with your rice, um, your potato, um, these carbs as well. So I'll do another video which is a bit more specific on exactly what the carbohydrates are, how to use them, especially for carb cycling. Um, but at least this will give you a starting point. So this is the Spartan macro calculator that I want you guys to start to use um, alongside some other tools. So that's the first tool that we're going to use. Um, second to that is MyFitnessPal. So I want you to uh, get yourself a MyFitnessPal account. I'm going to encourage all the Spartan members to become members on there. Um, so I've signed up and, and um, if we go to, um, so sign up for an account. Um, Go to your food diary and then when you're on your food diary you can start adding in. This is a basic breakdown for me for the day. So um, I've popped all my details in there. So most of the time it will give you that example of um, if you have like uh, gluten free oats or anything like that and it should give you that basic structure as well. So um, I use have like a banana pancake in the morning as you guys know already. Um, so I've put those in as like two bananas, homemade omelette, um, I have some oats in the morning. I suppose for me personally at the moment, my goal is to add some size. So my, my macros and my calories are going to be that bit higher as well. There's other factors obviously like sleep um, and increasing testosterone, growth hormone, detox in the liver, etc. But let's just concentrate for today on the macronutrients. Um, so yeah, so me personally in the morning, um, I'll get up, have some water, some um, uh, green tea, um, and then for breakfast I have like a six egg omelette, some oats to get some extra um, starchy carbs in, some hemp milk, uh, some water, obviously that's great because it shows you the protein in there, some almond butter and some blueberries. Lunch, um, I've got some wild cooked rice, some skinless, um, chicken breast, two portions, some um, some broccoli, um, and then uh, the third for dinner, I've got some sweet potatoes, sea bass, asparagus, and you'll see there. The good thing about my fitness fitness pal and us guys using it together is we can add each other on there. And if you leave your diaries open, we can start for accountability. Where I see what each other's eating and see how your carbs, your fats, and your proteins are totaling up. So you can see my breakfast there, we've got like 110 grams of uh, carbs, 43 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, um, and then lunch, I've got 41 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 84 grams of protein, and 25 grams for dinner, 23 fats, and 42 grams of protein. So totaling up, I am over the day doing about 190 grams of protein, 74 of fat, 176 um, of carbs. So if we went back to the calculator, um, what are we on there? To, um, let me see. Okay, so we've got um, to cut 233 grams, which I'm probably a little bit off there. I've got 190, so I probably want to up my carb intakes, uh, my protein intake slightly. Um, fat content is 79, I'm about 74, um, and um, 
what's the last one? Uh, carbohydrates, 243. Um, where's my carbs for the day? 176. So I'm probably a little bit low on that as well. Now, the goals that's calculated at the bottom is really for building some mass, which is my personal goal at the moment. So I'm probably a good thousand calories um, I'm under my proteins my fats and my carbs especially my carbs for that somatotype wise I know that my metabolism is fairly fast so my carb intake has to be a bit higher because of that so again relate to that somatotype use all these tools to start to add that in okay and we can also obviously I can give you feedback on this but do use that even if you do a week use this um, my fitness pal to track that side of things and obviously with the Spartan grading system, um, you have a tick box system as well, which ups that accountability to that next level. Okay, so the final tool that I want you guys to use is what I mentioned before is the uh, recipe website. Now the recipe website has a good 450 um, uh, recipes in there, so you've got no shortage of recipes. So we're starting to know your um, specific breakdown of, of macronutrients, um, we're starting to share our daily uh, food, what we're eating. And then the final thing, if you're struggling for recipes, not sure what to eat, then you've got the recipe website, okay? So um, there is a few different tools on there. You've got calculators on that front page. Um, now, um, for the time being, we're not going to use... I want to keep it really simple. I don't want to complicate that for the time being, so we're going to keep it really... Uh, simple. We're not going to use that. We're going to stick to the the actual Excel spreadsheet that we've got. Now, in terms of planning your meals, if we go to meal planner, take a few seconds to load up. So once you've logged in, you have the option to go to. Uh, you can either go straight for the breakfast, lunches, mains, condiments. Just got drinks, sides, smoothies in there, or we can go to select nutrition. Um, now, if we go to, let's start off with some smoothies for instance. So if you don't or do do smoothies already, then um, we've got quite a lot to go through from, and again, these will tell you, let me scroll down a little bit. It's gonna tell you for each one, the proteins, carbs, fats, and calories. So you're, you're gonna be knowing what they are even on here as well. And it also will total it up on the left-hand side. So this is your smoothie. So again, this could give you another option. You've got absolutely no um, excuses in terms of options for recipes because you have literally hundreds of them. Um, so loads of choice available. Uh, smoothies, loads. Loads and loads and loads. Um, now, uh, let's go on drinks. Um, Okay, so white Christmas cocktail, hot punch, uh, frosty cocktail, Bucks Fizz. Okay, let's click off there quick then. <laughs> um, so it's got snacks, we've got desserts, as with the um, as with the actual recipes you got at the start, obviously you've got a lot more choice now. Um, you've got breakfast, lunches, so you can obviously have the choice to just click on there and go through them. Um, you've got the library at the top there, now, uh, if we go to select nutrition, then it's going to give you different options for like a packed lunch, meals for one, uh, protein powder recipes, low carb recipes. Um, this is more if it fits your macros recipes, primal, vegan, clean, vegetarian, gluten free, dairy free, paleo. You know, it's got a massive choice there. So let's go for, um, I'll go for higher protein to start off with. So click on that. Click here to refresh. Uh, click off there. So we've got 91 recipes, higher protein. Use the right hand to scroll through the different recipes on hand. So I'm just gonna show you now how to add things in. So I'm gonna have a ham omelet. Gonna add that into there. Um, I'm gonna have something a little bit more Another higher protein, still got some. Um, so let's go for this hash browns and salmon. Gonna add that as well. And again, you're seeing the, the protein comes up on the right hand side. Um, I'm gonna go for a green smoothie because I like to get a green smoothie in first thing in the morning. Um, 
and then let's go on to lunches. So, okay. Okay, so if I go for some satay chicken, gonna add that in. Tuna, avocado, pate, uh, chicken and wrap, and trait wrap. Might have a, okay, that's quite nice. So these are all hot, higher protein meals in here. Um, that looks quite good. I'm gonna have that prawn and dill salad. So I'm gonna add that in. Um, might have a smoothie for lunch. Um, let's see. Might have this. Okay. Um, actually, no. I'm just going to go straight on to we have main meals. Okay. So we've got breakfast, lunches. Let's go on to main meals. So this again, this is a protein, these are all higher protein, so mussels with bacon, well, that looks nice. I'm going to have some scallops and, and red pepper salad, that looks awesome. So I'm going to add that in. Um, so yeah, you can see obviously I've got a higher protein, um, higher protein uh, day that I've selected here. It's a whopping 270 grams of protein um, and then you've got your carbs and your fats a bit lower. So once you've done that, um, we're going to go to print matches. We've selected our different meals that we're going to have for the day. Select print matches. And then it's going to come up as a PDF. The other thing I'd say as well, I am using Chrome on a Mac. Um, it doesn't always like um, Adobe in certain plugins or certain browsers I've found. So I'm using uh, Chrome on a Mac. It's, it seems to be working fine. Okay, so since we've gone to print, then we've got everything there. So you've got the method, you've got the shopping ingredients, you've got the hash browns that I've said for breakfast. It's telling you your macro servings. Um, so if you're not sure about how much you've got protein, carbs and fats, then it's telling you anyway to help you to understand what is in what foods as well. Um, so yeah, that's a slightly higher protein option. Um, let's go back um, and let's go for... Uh, medium carb so you can go for medium carb option there okay so these are all the medium carb options um, you've got your breakfast there again these look awesome we're gonna go for these nutty pancakes add them in they come up down the bottom um, what drinks have we got okay we have to go back so that's in there booster pack, let's go to lunches, um, fish, okay, let's have a coconut, chicken salad, add that in there, again, it's totaling everything up, uh, it's giving you your protein, your carbs, your fats, also giving you percentages as well, um, okay, um, let's go for main meals again, Okay, let's go for something uh, crispy Italian chicken. Let's try that. So, add that in there again. So, that's obviously going to be a slightly lower uh, protein amount um, that it's given you in the box there. Um, carbs are going to be a little bit higher with this. Um, so, again, you could go to select, um, sorry, to print matches. I'm gonna add a snack. Let's see what snacks we've got. Okay, chocolate, chocolate bar, um, gluten-free, flexible. It's also giving you the so it's a medium carb. Okay, so we're gonna add that in as well. It's bumped me up to about um, not 93 grams of protein. Um, desserts. Let's throw in a dessert as well. Um, protein, eat and mess. Bang, up to 124. Obviously, you could add a protein shake uh, somewhere. A protein shake as well. Um, so obviously the protein is important, but so are the fats, so are the carbohydrates, and making sure you've got enough of each. That's what I want to use both that MyFitnessPal and the Excel spreadsheet to take it to that next level. Once you've got everything else in place. Okay guys, so hopefully that is, again, I go to print matches, and it will download that for you, and you can use that. Okay, um, that come up on the, that's going to come up now. There you go. So everything's planned out for you. 
So no excuses guys in terms of not knowing the specifics of where you're at with everything. And as I said, if we're all using that MyFitnessPal, you're logging things, we can share what our food diaries are like, then again, that's gonna really help for accountability and I can give you feedback on there from that. And it helps to take that accountability and being that bit more specific up to next level. The other thing I want you to bear in mind though is um, the hormonal effects of food and lifestyle. And that again is gonna affect results, um, which I'll make another video on to help you with that. But first off, let's just understand a little bit about uh, macronutrients and um, have using those tools that are put in place. Awesome, I hope that's helped you guys. Cheers, Em.